uh, celebrating, and we want to tell you to stay with us because Simone will come back with more from that game. All right, congrats to Spanish for it. Hey, you know, it's the last thing that you want to see when you log on to your social media site, right? That your password's been compromised. That's not good. A well, security firm says some 2 million passwords have been compromised, and on the biggest sites we're talking here, we've got details on how you can protect yourself. It's in this daily.com. Right now, could the hands of hackers be keystroking their way into your online life? According to cybersecurity firm Trustwave, hackers have stolen users' names and passwords from nearly 2 million accounts by secretly installing a computer virus to track what you type. The company discovered the hacker's server in the Netherlands keeping login information. They sold your information so people could buy your passwords. They just know that this was linked to a server in the Netherlands. The company says this started late October and could be ongoing, raising fears hackers could see personal or financial information. And the numbers are staggering. 318,000 Facebook accounts, 70,000 Gmail, Google Plus, and YouTube accounts, 60,000 Yahoo users, 22,000 tweeters, and 8,000 LinkedIn accounts. Perhaps the most disturbing, the report indicates 8,000 ADP accounts were compromised too. Pay managers use ADP to manage employee paychecks. In a statement, ADP said none of its clients had been adversely affected. The company notified affected users and reset passwords. Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo and LinkedIn say they've done the same. Google, however, has not commented. So how can you protect yourself? Well, experts say update your antivirus software, don't click on suspicious links, change your passwords and stay away from simple ones like 123456. And just to be safe, even if you didn't receive a message saying that your account had been compromised, it's a good idea to go ahead and change your passwords anyway. You know what they say, better safe than sorry. And on Twitter, Mario Armstrong has another good suggestion when it comes to those passwords. He says, make sure your password can't be